With the eighth pick, Washington selects Ryan Leonard from the U.S. Development Program. Well, Ryan, welcome to D.C. What have the past few months been like for you? you went through the combine and the draft. Have you finally been able to catch your breath a little bit? Yeah, it's kind of been a little bit all over the place. Um, definitely a cool summer, that's for sure, and one I'll remember forever. And getting here, touching down here to D.C., what's it been like? Your first impressions, have you been here before or are you getting used to the area? Uh, no, I haven't been here before. Um, first impression was awesome. Looking out on the plane, uh, coming here, that was really cool. And yeah, everybody's here really welcoming and awesome. Yeah, you have to go out to the National Mall, see the monuments, a really cool city, great food, great sights. So I think you'll enjoy it. You mentioned during your interview just after the draft with our Al Koken, you felt like you had a good fit, good connection with the people in Washington during the interview process. Did you have a good feeling that they were maybe going to pick you at eight if you were still available, or what were you thinking um, during that process? Yeah, definitely. Um, Washington was kind of a spot that one of my top picks if I was able to go. Um, like you said, I had a really good connection, and yeah, I was available at eight, and I was fortunate enough they had enough trust in me to take me. And what do you, uh, the Capitals fans, what can they get excited about? What can you say about the player that they're getting in you? Yeah, um, trying to make the game as exciting as possible. I love to score as many goals as possible. I um, like to take people out of their seats with hits and goals and all that fun stuff. We but, like it. Yeah, um, just a lot of excitement and a lot of energy, that's for sure. I know people talk about the Kachucks they match you up to, maybe a Tom Wilson. Have you heard from any of the Capitals players? Have you heard from Tom? Yeah, um, Tom texted me after I was drafted. Uh, congratulating me and uh, can't wait to battle against me. So Aww. that's pretty cool. And then uh, TJ Oshie also texted me too. So pretty big names and that's to awesome. get a text from them is pretty cool. Yeah, I also think uh, it went viral on Twitter. I think you told Emily Kaplan after as well. You're like, I just don't want to get hit by yeah. one time. Yeah, I, know, like, I, got yeah, too. I got a lot of texts about that comment, but still don't want to get hit though. Yeah. Well, I know I asked you that night in Nashville, how many unread text messages did you have after you checked your phone after that draft? How many calls or texts did you have? No calls. Uh, okay, no a calls. A lot. Uh, Try to just put, the, honestly, I put the phone that night, uh, down that night and just tried to soak it in with my family and friends there. Um, just try to keep it locally as possible. And then the next day I let the phone just kind of take control and said thank you to all the important people that weren't able to come in. It was. It was cool to like let them see that they were, meant a lot to me. That's awesome. And finally, we'll ask you about this development camp. You mentioned touching down here in Washington. What has it been like so far? Everybody here has been awesome and really welcoming. Uh, it's skating this morning and then just did a couple flow drills and battling. So yeah, it's awesome here and I'm really looking forward to the future. You lost power, but you made it work. Yeah. You still train. <laughs> yep. We're going to let you guys know early on. Ryan, thanks so much for being here. Welcome to DC. Thank you.